Hi everybody, thanks for looking at this video here on G4G on YouTube. So in today's video, I'm going to discuss with you how you might go about installing Marvel Avengers Alliance 2 or any other Google Play Store game on a non-Windows 10 PC. This does work for Windows 10, however, in the case of Marvel Avengers Alliance 2, it is actually in the Windows Store. And we'll get into that a little bit later, but... Let's jump right into the meat of the video. The first thing you want to do is go to a website called en.bignox.com. Uh, this is the site of the Android emulator. If you don't go to that address directly, if you go to Google and type in Knox App Player or Android emulator, you will find the link right here, en.bignox.com. Either one of these first two will work. This is from another site, but these are the two that host it directly. So when you get to this site, you'll know you're in the right site if it looks something like this. I do actually believe that might be Vainglory going on in this picture right here, which is a popular uh, MOBA for mobile systems. So this is the site that takes care of it. If you go to download now, It'll, let, it'll give you immediately the file to set it up. When you install EN Big Knox or just Knox, you will see it out here on your desktop, multi-drive and just regular Knox. You want to go ahead and pretty much predominantly use the one that just says Knox. Multi-drive is a way of opening up multiple instances of it and that's pretty much not what a lot of people are going to do. Now, there are definitely competitors to Knox out there, and that would be Handy Andy and Bluestacks. I have used both, but I can tell you that even on a quad-core PC, Knox is by far the best emulator I've used with the smallest memory footprint. Now, failed to sideload APK in Knox. If you click on this, this may help you um, run a few things if, if you have some issues during these installs. One of the most common things that you need to do to Knox is to turn on the root mode of it. And there are some instructions there on how to do it. This will allow you to install games on Knox that you can't get directly from the Google Play Store. Now, the other thing that you may need to do is be familiar with a site to get APK files if the game is not allowed or the app is not allowed to be installed via the Google Play Store. I do believe the Google Play Store thinks Knox is a Samsung Galaxy tab, although I don't particularly remember what version. But sites like apkmania.com and apkpure.com are good sites for it. So if we type in Marvel Avengers Alliance... We will see that here is Marvel Avengers Alliance 2. When you go to it, you can download it and you can check the most recent version. Now we can see that 1.0.6, April 13th, this is the most recent version of it. It does match what is actually in the store and here are some of the older versions of the game. So what you do is you download it. And it's going to say, all right, well, where do you want to go ahead and save the APK file? Just save it somewhere that you can find it easily. Then you go ahead and bring up Knox. The first time you go into Knox, you want to click on the Play Store. And you want to sign into the Google Play Store using your account. Once you do, uh, all the apps and everything that you've installed from Google before will appear here under all. Now for games that you want to find, you can just go ahead and type it in. And you'll see, like if I type in Marvel Avengers Alliance 2, a lot of Marvel games come up. All these ones that say free mean that the emulator will allow the install for it. The Google Play Store thinks your device is compatible. Some people have had issues with the emulator saying that the game is not compatible and that's why i showed you how to get the apk regardless 
There is also another site out there that allows you to download things directly from the Google Play Store uh, without having to go to sites like APK Mania or APK Pure. And I believe, let's see how we can find that. Download APK files from Google Play. Ah, this is the one right here. APK Downloader pulls APK files directly from Google Play. If you go to this link for Lifehacker, there is an article on a site that you can go to. And it's uh, right here. Fortunately, developers created a tool that lets you pull an APK directly from Google servers and sideload it yourself. It is this link down here called APK Downloader. The site is apps.evozi.com. And what you do is you have this little box up here. What you do with that box is you go over to the Play Store. And you search for the game or the app that you want to find. So we'll do Marvel Avengers Alliance 2. Click on it. And you get this link up here. See how at the end it says com Marvel Avengers Alliance 2.goo? If you copy that portion of it and paste it over here, this will eventually, after it generates the link, uh, it'll allow you to download it. Now, sometimes the server does get busy. It has been a while since I have used this site. Um... However, it does look like a lot of people recently are posting that the site doesn't seem to be working. That's what all these posts are down here. Yeah, if all these people are posting links, there is a good chance that perhaps the site doesn't work anymore. But there is a possibility that it might. But that's how you can download it directly from the Google Play Store. Then... Once you download the file to your computer and you've placed it somewhere that you know you can find it, you just go into that folder. And for me, I have a folder on an external drive where I save stuff like this. And you can go ahead and take the file that you want and drag it from your Explorer window onto Knox. And you get this screen that comes up. You want to go ahead and do the one that says open APK folder. It'll come up to a file manager. And it will go ahead and allow you to install it from here. Just single click on it. It'll say do you want to install it. And once it's installed, yeah, I know, you can go ahead and here's Magic Fluids that I just took from a folder on my computer and have installed onto my Android emulator. Now, obviously, if you're coming from iOS, Android might be, you know, a little jarring for you. But if you are using uh, any Android phones or tablets, you obviously know what to do at this point. This is basically like having a tablet on your computer. Now, a lot of apps, if they are compatible with Knox, will just simply update themselves like they're supposed to. But if you run into games that you have to sideload, you may continually have to get the updates yourself. My Marvel Adventures Alliance just works, and I don't need to get updates for it anymore after the global release. And this is what you would do on any Windows computer if you wanted to run it through an Android emulator. So here's the game and it's full glory. You can see it's working. I can do whatever I want in the game. I can check my daily tasks. My daily. So defeat mini bosses, use power cells, team up with allied heroes.
so there's one of my dailies out of the way. So now, what happens if you're on a Windows 10 computer? Well, if you're on a Windows 10 computer, you don't necessarily need to use Knox to run it. You can very, very easily just get it from the Windows Store. I'll show you how that can be done. When you are in control of a Windows 10 computer, down on your start bar is the little shopping bag. This will take you over to the Windows 10 store. And, you know, it'll think for a while depending upon the speed of the computer. When it comes up in the search box, you click on it up here. And just type in Marvel Avengers Alliance. And there it is, Marvel Avengers Alliance 2. And just hit install. So you don't need to run an emulator if you're on a Windows 10 PC as it is in the Windows 10 store. But there's been a lot of people saying that there are crashes with it but uh you know either way you can either run it through the emulator which does have some crashes from time to time or you can go ahead uh, and install it directly from the windows 10 store so guys i hope this helps you out there's been a lot of people asking about it in the beginner tips and tricks video so i hope this video is helpful on how you can uh install and find marvel avengers alliance 2 on a pc instead of using it on mobile devices. Thanks a lot, folks. Hope you have a good one.